a happy day, and you may not completely understand why uh, your parents and, and your parents, Sarah, why there are some tears today. Uh, I think maybe a little bit of it is because we've lived with you for 21 years and we know what the other ones get, <laughs> and so we're concerned for them. But, but more than that, more than that, it's their tears of joy because we are so proud of you. And as your dad prayed earlier, uh, we've been praying for you and for the the man, the woman that God would have for you for many years. And so we're, we're excited for you. We're glad that God has brought you just the right woman, just the right man to fulfill your life and to help you be all that Christ would have you to be. So we rejoice with you and we wish you every happiness and every blessing. I'm going to ask you now to repeat some vows. So if you would turn and face each other, if you would hold each other's hands. And I'm going to ask you to repeat vows to one another. I'll begin with you, Austin. Would you say these words to Sarah? I, Austin, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. And I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In adversity or prosperity. And forsaking all others. I will be faithful to you only. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn promise. Sarah, would you repeat these words to Austin? I, Sarah, take you, Austin, to be my husband. And I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In adversity and prosperity. And forsaking all others. I will be faithful to you only until we are parted by death. This is my solemn promise. Each of you is going to be giving a ring uh, to the other and rings for thousands and thousands of